Hello, welcome to Mountain Bike Action Magazine. My name is JJ, and today we have a brand new bike, the Trek Fuel EXE. This is the, uh, this is the XX1 version, so this is uh, SRAM Axis XX1. Um, it has Axis uh, tire whiz and uh, air whiz for the shocks. Um, it's a trail bike. It has 150 millimeters of travel in the front, 140 in the back. But what really makes this bike special is the brand new motor unit, battery, and uh, head unit. It is an integrated head unit. It is an OLED display. Um, it has several different options that are really, really useful. Uh, but the biggest thing for me is that this drive unit, this motor, is very quiet. And when you're climbing along and you're passing people on, on analog bikes and you're like, if you feel bad because you're passing them uh, on an e-bike, well, they're not going to hear you as well and they're just going to think you're really strong now. And we're about to test that out. So uh, yeah, come along on this journey and uh, let's go ride this bike. Trek's new Fuel EXE mid-level assist lightweight electric bike is as innovative, progressive, and futuristic as they come. Trek claims its weight, lack of noise, and natural ride feel remove the divide between MTB and EMTB. At a casual glance, it looks like a normal mountain bike frame. Trek claims that the smaller motor allowed for no compromises in frame geometry. As a result, it has normal trail bike oriented 440mm chainstays, a 65 degree head angle, a 77 degree seat tube angle, and a 485mm long reach in a size large. It's adjustable too via a flip chip in the seat stays. A full size water bottle fits in all sizes except for the size small that only fits a 20 ounce bottle. Because of the flip chip, the Fuel EXE is mullet convertible for anybody wanting a more agile bike or more wheel to body clearance. Trek continues to utilize its excellent ABP rear suspension design to get 140 millimeters of rear wheel travel on the Fuel EXE. Our test bike came with a RockShox Super Deluxe Ultimate with AirWiz. The fork is a 150 millimeter travel RockShox Lyric Ultimate that also features AirWiz. Utilizing SRAM's AirWiz app, riders can easily set and monitor air pressures. According to Trek, the Fuel EXE is also coil shock compatible. Eight Fuel EXE builds are available starting at $6,500 for the 9.5 with the Shimano Dior drivetrain and going all the way up to the one we tested, the Fuel EXE 9.9 .9 at $14,000. This one features SRAM XX1 axis and many other electronic goodies and top of the line components. This bike will be offered in sizes small, medium, large, and extra large. German robotics manufacturer TQ and Trek have partnered to develop the Fuel EXE's motor. This new motor system features a unique way to transfer its 50 newton meters of torque and 300 watts of peak power to the drivetrain, a harmonic pin ring transmission. This motor and transmission are smaller too, allowing for the battery to be positioned further down in the frame for a lower center of gravity. Trek says that the pin ring design equals fewer moving parts and a much quieter ride. There are four total modes that can be adjusted via the small handlebar remote. Eco, Mid, High, and Walk. The three ride modes are tunable in Trek's central app. In the app, you can tune max power, assist level, and pedal response. The app can also track activity, map rides, suggest or monitor tire and suspension pressure, as well as get real-time range calculations. A 2-inch display screen located at the top of the top tube shows mode, battery life, and other ride metrics at a glance. Trek says the remote and display weigh just 60 grams. 
The removable 360 watt hour battery allows for what Trek claims is 2 to 5 hours of real single track riding. A 160 watt hour extender pack that goes in the bottle cage is available as an accessory and offers an additional 1 to 2 hours of riding. Expectations were high after seeing Trek's presentation, but everyone says their bike is the best, so we were skeptical. This is one of the few times that a bike has exceeded expectations. The silence, ride feel, and power delivery is all on point for what we want out of a mid-powered electric mountain bike. Its lack of noise is the biggest surprise. It's so quiet that the noises of the tires on the ground drowns out any motor whine. In fact, the only time you can hear it is on pavement and smooth hard packed surfaces, and even then, it's barely there. Our size large test bike weighs just over 41 pounds, which is roughly 10 pounds less than many full powered EMTBs, but it actually feels lighter than that. Perhaps there is actually something to Trek's claims of a smaller motor allowing for a lower battery placement and resulting in lower center of gravity? Power delivery is incredibly smooth, yet strong. It might have a little less torque than other similar mid-powered drive units we have tested, but we have not been able to use Trex app to tune this system yet, so we will see how things play out there. We've only had this bike a week, but we feel confident saying that we're impressed. The bike is holding up well, even with a gnarly crash already under its belt. Hey, you gotta get it out of the way sometime. We're going to continue testing it, so look out for our full review in an upcoming issue of Mountain Bike Action Magazine. Bikes! Alright, ride number one done. First impressions, this bike is fun. It's a little bit heavier than uh, your standard bike, but it's definitely lighter than most of the e-bikes out there, and I really do appreciate that. I really appreciate the thought that went into this bike. It truly is quiet on the climbs, um, and it doesn't have quite as much power, so you're not being like towed up, even in the highest setting. But it still helps you tremendously, especially when it gets steep and you just feel like giving up. Um, it made this trail a lot more enjoyable because this climb is gnarly and uh, <laughs> I was very happy to have the help. But this bike is sweet. All the technology on it um, really does 
well. The, for the first ride, I would say that this was an awesome experience. Um, definitely something I still need to get used to, and I really look forward to testing this thing, thing again. So, yeah, until next time, just go ride some bikes. We'll see you then.